Okay, Mrs. G, we're all set to go. Get, taking care of your paperwork here, okay. getting everything going. Okay. All right. Yes. I just want to check with you on a couple things here. You have pain that's going into your shoulders, arms, and hands. One side worse than the other? Uh, it's mostly in my shoulder, going up my neck into my knee. Okay. All right. I had a couple, just a couple of times in my fingers right now. Both times in your fingers? Just a couple of times, but just mostly. Day, I'm extremely uncomfortable. Okay, all right. You know you're going to have an incision on the right side of your neck, but we're going to clean out both sides, okay? okay? You're going to feel a little pressure in the back of your neck. That's totally normal. You have a little bit of a sore throat after this, okay? Just take ice chips and yogurt and soft foods for a day or so, and you'll be fine, okay? All right, good. Let me just check your paperwork here. We're doing C4, 5, C5, 6, and C6, 7. Got compression there of your spinal cord and your nerves. They are and we're like going massage, to you have like some angle and angling at C4 or 5 as well. Okay. So this is my booking mm -hmm. sheet. I want to make sure that everything's signed here. Oh, I lost my pen again. We're gonna have to go get a pen real quick. Okay, and we got a pen on him. Maggie, could you get me a pen? Thank you. All right, and um, Lindsay, put a mark on your side. Good. All right, do you have any questions before we go back? Uh, how long do I have to use that? Yeah. I'd like you to use it probably for a couple weeks after the surgery. Oh, really? You don't need to sleep in it. Okay. But definitely would be something we want you to use for a couple of weeks. Okay. Okay. All day. All day. All day. All day. Okay, because remember, we want the bones to fuse together, and the enemy of that of that fusion is movement. Okay. Now, it's okay if you move a little bit. It's yes. okay if you sleep okay. without it, but we don't want a lot of movement. Okay. okay we want it to solidify. Okay. Let okay. me just sign this piece of paper. And um, we're going to update your HP right here. And I have one other question. Sure. So, I do tend to get migraines. If I get a migraine while I'm in the hospital, will I be able to get Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Oh, I need you to do one more signature. Sure. Here. Okay. Right there. I just need your need your John Hancock okay, right sure. there. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And your family's out in the waiting area. Yeah. 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 Thank you. So on this person, they have a, a, a mass in their neck, which was picked up incidentally, actually, but you can see it's right here. And there's uh, some expansion of the muscle there, and you can see it clearly, uh, you know, is, there's, there's normal paraspinous musculature, okay. and there's this encapsulated area. Now, this could be a lipoma, it could be a... Uh, a, a muscle tumor like a rhabdomyosarcoma, mm -hmm. some type of a sarcoma. But um, at any rate, the interesting um, features of this is that it is eroding some of the bone. So make sure you get this on the uh, neuro rounds, okay. and then we want to show the CT scan too. You can't really see the, the, the mass as well here. Now it's not invading the spinal canal, but it is on the CAT scan. Um malignant, not malignant, but if it was a tumor or metastasizing, what would you order Well, she would need further? A, she still needs a bone, bone scan. We have to assume that it could be something bad, so we, right. get a, we get a bone scan. Now, so you can see here that there's some erosion of the spinous oh, yeah. process. Um, so that means it's a little more aggressive, but it also, it looks sort of, see how smooth this is? Yes. So it tells me it's more likely been around a long time. Okay. Um, but, you know, we'll have to see. You so know. those spinous processes have eroded. They're not just exactly. being, being covered up. Nope. You see, this mm -hmm. is a normal one, and you can see it's sort of bitten away here, and you can see it's bitten away it here. It ate it. Yeah. So this definitely, because of that, we need to uh, remove this, and, you know, uh, it would be good to have a general surgeon to just uh, have a backup person on that. Vapors because you can have a fire, because the bovi, you get electricity, you get oxygen, and you get something that can ignite. So that's our incision, and Joanna's going to prep this whole area out. Like this, 
Well, her chin is here. I guess it's all fat. Yeah, it's all lower. Yeah. You can put her, that's her, that's her okay, hand above, right? That's yeah, so we're going okay. right along okay. the, the medial border for stone upon an outside muscle so right there. And then open that. Right hand, my IV carotid, carotid, take an esophagus, and just put them like that and come right down to the pubic and the fascia. Okay? Her head is in good position there. The music okay? The music is great. I got a little, for the audio. Do we need help? I like the music. Which playlist? Yeah. Yes, it's hand-picked. Here's another one I'd like, to, I'd like you to consider adding. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. Tatiana. Queen is setting up the case. That's why I just step away and I let her do her job. True professional. And Tatiana and Joanna together, that's the dynamite duo. This is what I do. I wanted to share it with you because it's really rewarding and sometimes as a patient, you may not understand where I'm coming from, but maybe with this video, you might understand a little bit more. And as a student, it's just a, another chance for you to get an experience of what it's like and to decide whether you want to go into it or whether you don't want to go into it.